Okay, welcome guys. We are going to do the flower of the month today and it is a pansy. And I want to show you the different brushes that I have here. I have a three quarter, 12, flat, and um, a six flat. And I use a two script liner. And these are the Donna Dewberry one stroke dark green handle brushes, okay? Now we're going to use um, multi-surface folk art paint which what you're going to see is the thickness the thickness makes a difference in one stroke painting and it's um this is the best quality i love it it works perfect for what i do i put a little bit of floating medium in there and that's the fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment in it and we're going to start out by putting our brush in water and then laying it down to dry it off okay and then we're going to get decide what two colors we're going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some white and come over here and work in the magenta. So I want half and half, but this is what you want to see. I'm going to push harder so I can reach to both colors. And what we're going to do is work it back and forth until you have a magenta, white, and a blend in between. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is do a shell stroke and it's going to be from there to there. So I'm going to start here and I want to push down and go one, two, three. That's a starter stroke. So after you do one, two, three, you stay down. So we're half sprung on the brush. We're not all the way to the chisel and we're not squished too far. And wherever this part of the brush is going, you're going to pull the top of the I mean the bristles with it okay so this is a shell stroke and these strokes are the every stroke inside the pansy except one is the shell stroke okay so when I do this pansy this color I come up here and I do a little piece for the bud all right and so then I'm going to come in to my white dip some yellow I'm going to dip more yellow and I'm going to work it in and I'm going to flip this over. Now I'm going to come right here and do two more V's out this way. One, two, three, scrub. I flip the brush and put the lighter color on the outside. Do the same thing over here. Okay. And I made that a little loopier than this. See, that's more smooth. These two are a little bit more loopy. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to go right over to the purple on the pink side of the brush. Get some yellow, get some purple. And I'm going to come in here and do a little teardrop stroke. Look how pretty and yummy that is with the pink in there too. Push, and this is all with a three-quarter flat brush. I should have told you all that first, huh? Okay, so I'm going to take and go a little bit more because I want to come on top of the petal. And the beautiful thing about one-stroke painting is you can keep going over it till you get exactly what you want. Okay, so while I have this color, I should have done it before. I added more to it, but I come right in here, and so I have all the shades that I have in here, okay? Then I'm going to come in here with the six, like I told you, and either put yellow or a green, and put it right here. I put one little teardrop or a daisy stroke, one there and one there, and we have that pansy kind of set, okay? Now, I'm going to wipe that off and let's do that's one type i can take the handle of the brush and set that by putting that in the middle or i usually put a dark green there all right so now let me show you another pansy i'm gonna put a little bit of medium all right so let's do this one where we're gonna come here again and we're gonna do the back petal then we can come in, pick up bright yellow, go on the outside of here, let's stroke it again, pick up more bright yellow, we're going to come right here. Okay, so this one I want you to see. 
Now I've got those little white streaks there and they, they're not blended in well, so we need to come back. Now this is gonna be, that's a five petal. One, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be seven petals. So one of the things you can do on this is I can go pick up more white and then right here we're going to go halfway on both sides all right and halfway we're going to come in here and i want you to think about ruffling that a little bit right here so ruffle ruffle and come around and guess what i forgot again <laughs> let's do a bud here and then i'm going to switch it over and have the yellow all right and when we do the purple we can add the purple in there okay so also we can do these two purple strokes here right there but let me show you what else we can do i did the same thing i had the magenta i went and got some purple and some yellow because almost all the little pansies have this purple and yellowish look down here all right so i want you to see that because that's all yellow i'm going to flip it now i can come in here and ruffle up and do another ruffled looking petal there so there's lots of fun looks that we can get where this entire thing is ruffled the petals all of them see that i have a recipe card that shows you all different types of colors and all that we do <laughs> I usually don't have to stop I was like not breathing so I could do that stroke all right but look at this so we can do a teardrop and a teardrop all right now one thing that we can do besides I, I put black uh, highlights in here sometimes I don't have any black here right now so I'll just go ahead and show you that I'm going to put the yellow 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 all right and when you put the dark green you can kind of set the middle or you can bring the pink there you just need a darker color let's put purple there purple here now one little thing i like to do to pansies sometimes to just give it more more is i'm going to make inky with my number two script liner and get white all right and i can come right in here watch this i'm going to come right here and do these little accent lines now oh, right here too it shows you a little bit see how that just adds to it a little and i can also do that in here and just have fun you can put little accents of white in here i usually use black right there all right and that is the flower of the month we're going to come right in here and i'll just show you one little quickie i'm going to take and put smaller leaves on this one and we are going to get these two colors look i want to get the sap green and yellow and look we're going to take and put little teeny leaves in here and pull it together you can have three leaves and i do these on greeting cards all the time i have fun doing these for people because people love pansies it's a really pretty vintage and country and just sweet a lot of antique projects have pansies Alrighty, guys be sure to do your buds Buds make it fun, really adds to the look. And I am looking for 2,000 likes, so I need your help. If you like these flowers of the month, then please share with your friends and help me get my goal of 2,000 new likes. And go to onestroke.com for any of your one stroke painting supplies. And we are looking for teachers, so if you would like to become a teacher, find out about how to do that on onestroke.com. Thank you.